Good morning, Off The Gridders. Brian here from Online Land Sales with another edition of Off The Grid, daily motivational and technical training for Off The Grid Living. Today is a session on basic Off The Grid Living considerations, a very general and basic uh, presentation. So what does it take to be an Off The Gridder? Well, it's, you know, you've heard about the three essentials and those are the three essentials for off the grid living, water, food, and shelter, right? Um, when you move off the grid, water is going to be a, a serious consideration. As soon as you leave that city uh, water source or the county water source, um, you have uh, various options. We've done a, a complete presentation on water that you may find interesting and you'll get as part of these uh, daily motivational technical trainings. And there'll be additional links to more resources, or you can just dive into today's uh, links and find resources on water. But we do have uh, an entire presentation devoted to water. But water, you know, you're going to be using a well, or you're going to be using some sort of freshwater source that you extract the water from, right? Uh, or you're going to bring it in and store it, right? So there are various options for water. Uh, you, can, you can store rainwater also. Um, and, and so water is going to be one of your biggest considerations when you start considering living off the grid. And then two, food. I mean, as soon as you decide to be an off the gridder, you become a bit of a hunter or gatherer, right? You, you throw back to the old days of early humans where, you know, we were hunter gatherers. And actually, uh, having studied uh, a bit about hunter gatherers, those were some happy people and they actually worked less <laughs> than modern day civilized people do of interest. And they were very healthy. Uh, their diets were varied and nutritious. But as an off the gridder, you're gonna become a bit of a, a hunter gatherer, fishing, gardening, farming, composting, land management, all that is going to become second nature to you. You're going to need those skills in order to survive, right? And then third, shelter. Um, staying safe from the elements, the cold, the rain, the wind, the snow, and the extreme heat. Extraordinarily important when living off the grid, right? You're going to need more than just a reliable roof over your head. You're going to need, you know, protection from animals, right? You're also going to need a quick and reliable way to start a fire, always in the shelter, and you'll need some rugged, cold weather gear in the shelter also. It's more than just shelter, it's, it's, you know, a shelter that provides you protection from the elements and the environment, including the wildlife, right? And that can be heated, right? And that you can leave with, with gear on and take care of your chores, right? So shelter is extremely important. A couple other considerations when considering living off the grid. Uh, you probably will want some power. I mean, you can go a couple weeks on batteries or hand cranked items and but you're gonna want a reliable uh, source of electricity, right? Eventually, uh, mo most off the gridders eventually want a reliable source of electricity. Solar is great for that. Um, people use backup generators also and windmills, but some source of electricity, uh, you probably end up going solar in most areas of the country, right? Um, throwaway goods, completely uh, out of the picture when you start living off the grid. Nothing that you throw away will, you know, be purchased. You're going to be buying things that last for a long time, right? And that have multiple purposes and that can be repurposed. So the whole idea of throwaway containers, etc., will just disappear. Everything's going to be permanent for you. You're going to be looking for things that last, right? And uh, you have to worry about your safety and survival. Uh, a consideration should be first aid, right? I mean, you should become an expert at first aid. There will be times where you'll have to leave your off-the-grid lifestyle and go in to modern-day civilization to seek medical attention. It usually happens. Most off-the-gridders have an experience where they need modern-day medicine, right? We're in this modern world with all of the tools and all of the knowledge. And so, periodically, you know, we, we can't take care of ourselves off-the-grid with just our small first aid kit. We need to we need to go into the city and seek medical attention. So be open to that always, but also train yourself in first aid and have a complete first aid kit. Be ready to take care of yourself, right? And be able to move swiftly on your injuries to prevent them from getting worse. All right, and then one last consideration, you might get lonely. I mean, a lot of off the gridders move off the grid with their family and so they'll, they'll have, you know, some company, but a lot of off-the-gridders live on their own, right? 
And even if you enter this this lifestyle with a spouse or your family, you most likely have bouts of loneliness since you'll be interacting with fewer people. Right? It's just going to be you and your family. So you, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you know how to deal with it. There are various ways you can deal with it. People study, they read, they become more social. Whatever it takes, be prepared for those bouts of loneliness that you may experience as an off-the-gridder. All right, that's all for today uh, on your daily motivational and technical training from Off the Grid. We hope you enjoyed it. Get out there and kick some butt. Um, develop your land. Learn more about Off the Grid living. Uh, we hope you're enjoying these daily motivational technical uh, presentations and that you'll join us every day. Uh, have a great kick butt day out there and uh, improve your world off the grid. Thanks so much. Bye.